Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using partials and imports in SCSS. Now, partials are basically external SCSS files that you can use to define certain components for your website. So I could have a partial file that defines all of the styling for like the header of my website or the footer of my website. And then I can take that partial and I can import it into my main CSS file, and then that'll all get compiled down into CSS. So the way that we can create a partial is by going over to our project, and I'm just gonna make a new file in this style folder. And whenever you create a partial, you always need to start it with an underscore. So the name of the partial file needs to start with an underscore. So let's make a partial file for the header of our website. So this file will define all of the styling for the header on our site. So we can just call it header.html. You can name it whatever you want as long as you have a leading underscore. Or actually this needs to be an SCSS file, my bad. And in here, we're basically just gonna define the code for the header. So we'll say header and then maybe we can just give it a color like blue or something. And so obviously, you know, the code that you have in here is gonna be more complex, but for the purposes of our example, this should work. Now I can go over to my main style.scss file. So this is the uh, file that's getting compiled down into this style.css file, and it's gonna get used here on my website. And in here, we can actually import the code from that header file. So I can say at import, and then inside of quotation marks, we can just type the name of the file. And this is the relative location. So it's just gonna be underscore header. And we'll put a semicolon here. So when I save this file, what you'll notice is if we go over to this style.css right here, you'll see that the code from that header.scss file has been placed inside of here. And so all of that code got inserted into this file. But what's really cool about this is that the underscore header.scss file right here didn't actually need to be compiled down. So you'll notice that there's not a file called underscore header.css. And that's because when we're creating a partial, SAS knows not to compile it down to CSS because we don't actually need to use it in any of our files. And that's kind of what's cool. So actually, if I was to change the name of this file, so for example, if I changed it and I got rid of this underscore, so it was just called header.scss, and we save it, you'll see that SAS automatically generates a header.css file and this header CSS map file. And so you need that leading underscore to tell SAS that like, hey, we don't wanna use this as a normal CSS file, we just wanna use it as a partial. And you can see that uh, SAS took care of getting rid of those files for us. So now if we go over to our website, it's actually colored blue. So this import statement worked and we were able to import all the code from this header.scss file. And inside of here, you can actually override the code. So if I was to put, um, another header tag in here, I could actually override what was in that other file. So I could say like color red, and now instead of having the color of this text be blue, it'll be red. So you can override any of the attributes that are inside of this header file, inside of the file that you're importing it from. So that's the basics of using partials and imports. Now, one thing to point out, this at import statement is actually just a statement that's uh, can be used in CSS. And so this isn't specific to SCSS or SAS, but normally when you use this import statement in a CSS file, it'll, fo it'll force another trip to the web server. So you're gonna have to do another HTTP request to get this CSS file that's gonna be imported. But when you do this with SCSS, the style.css folder will automatically import the code. And, and so it'll save you a trip back to your web server to get another file. So that's just kind of like, a performance upgrade and so actually using SCSS can increase the performance of your CSS files. So again, um, you know, you want to use partials to define little snippets of code and they need to be named with this leading underscore. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.